Hey everyone, so it seems like more and more players are able to beat the raid now, but you know, to those of you that are still having trouble at Razorback specifically, well, here are some tips that may help you. Uh, I also want to let you all know that this is one of my clanmates' tactics that he uses in Razorback. And you know, we just wanted to share with all of you to help improve your raid experience. And as some of you are, may already know, we are both part of the NinjaBots clan. I am the leader, Boink1209, and the footage is courtesy of Ancrono. And if any of you guys are on PS4, then need help with the raid, or just need their build checked and need feedback on it, well, feel free to check out our Discord server on the description below. Well, in any case, let's get started. Tip number one, for those of you that have protected reload, well, utilize it. I'd highly suggest finding a pistol that has this because this is just a holstered talent. And one particular area we find this useful in is after the damage phase, when Razorbacks' uh, rockets hit you, well, keep pressing reload. Um, the impact of each rocket will actually cancel your reload, allowing for another reload. And then this will allow you to proc protected reload for each rocket attack. And in turn, it will reduce the damage taken. To tip number two, upon entering an enemy nearby, you can actually bait a melee attack from them in order to safely pass by. Tip number three, when you happen to go one-on-one -on -one with an NPC, well, stay in your by corners and covers to break line of sight whenever needed. This is an example on how Encrono uses all three tips to stay alive. Now, because of these tips, Encrono was able to get back to his respective SAM site all by himself and in time for the heavy to spawn. Tip number four. So when the heavy appears, sometimes we see people running around and end up getting themselves killed by any of the NPCs. So you can actually use the SAM site itself as cover when they appear. Now if you're still getting shot at, you can maneuver around the SAM site while shooting to avoid line of sight with enemies. Tip number five. Now, when helping another SAM site with their heavy, if there are no enemies around you, shoot that heavy's head. Um, you can possibly use the Nemesis if you have it, or a long range AR, you know, whatever long range weapon you have. At the same time, now if there are enemies nearby the agents that you're helping, distract them and take the aggro away from the agents that are trying to kill their heavy. Now, if the heavy was called late, then prioritize shooting the heavy, no matter how many enemies there are because um, the heavy is the number one priority and if you fail to kill it, it's a wipe. If your teammates say they are good, then focus on the enemies nearby you if there are any. Tip number six, on top of having good communication, you should all remind each other on when the heavy may come out. Only when the first reds start spawning, clear any immediate danger and restock. Be sure to call out the first reds as soon as you see them so then your allies will know to restock and get ready their heavies too. So seeing red NPCs is actually a good indicator that the heavy is about to come out. Tip number seven. Now, this is one of the reasons why it is so important that you are raid ready, because if you do enough damage, continuous headshots will actually stagger the enemy once. And then based on the staggering, this allows you some breathing room to either reload or run for cover. Tip eight. Now whoever is responsible to be on the plate or generator, when the heavy appears on your SAM site, make sure you are in between the heavy and the plate when shooting at him. Because once he is down, it is your job to get back to the plate on time with the others when the assigned plate leader does the countdown. Well, that's it. That's pretty much most of the tips that we have. Um, there are probably many other tips out there as well, but I hope the ones that we've mentioned at least helped you in some way. Again, we are part of the NinjaBots clan. Like and subscribe if you want more of our content, or you can just feel free to chat with us on Discord. Um, hope to see you guys in game or in chat. Till next time.